Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating lay planning on lace fabric. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here's the lace that I'm working with. Like I'm sure many of you may or may not know there's a whole array of different lace on the market and they have sequins, beading, ribbing all incorporated within the, within the design. As you can see the background is a mesh type background and here are the motifs. Now when you're working with lace the most important thing you really do have to do before lay planning is to think about your design. Now my design is a repeat pattern so I need to kind of figure out what I want to be part of my design, my sewing project. But I'm going to include my edge which is the scalloped edge here which is um, the design of the lace and I'm going to be working on the crosswise grain because of the etching here and with lace it's usually crosswise, crosswise grain or it could be lengthwise grain it really is dependent on your pattern so the next step is to make sure that you're working on the right side of your fabric on a single layer so I'm going to be placing my pattern pieces somewhere along here so that I can capture this beautiful scalloped edge. I've got my pattern piece here and usually when you're working with lace you need to work with a full pattern and as I'm sure we all are aware that some sewing patterns are just half so I've added a section to make it a full pattern so it's identical on both sides. Don't worry about the grain because there is there is no grain in lace as such so I'm just making sure that I'm going to be working with the motif in my design so um, like I said I was going to make sure that I'm going to get this scalloped edge and I'm going to place my pattern roughly about there as you can see it's a straight line but that doesn't matter because you're working with the design of the lace so I'm going to capture that in there I think um, and then the next thing is to do is to work up my pattern to see if I'm okay with the neckline and the placement of it now I want to make sure that I'm happy with the neckline here and as I said this is a repeat pattern so I may just lift my pattern mm. I think I want to catch more of the actual petals within the motifs so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring it up a little bit and place it there and that's the decision that I've come with so I'm happy with this side, I'm going to show you there and if you're just following me to the other end and I'm happy with the placement on this side. So I think I'm going to get the right balance of motifs, the floral design within my sewing pattern. Now if I just bring it down to the bottom of my pattern it, it has kind of allowed me to have a little bit more than perhaps I would like but that is the, um, not the issue but that is what you have to take into consideration when working with lace but I'm happy with that because I do really want that beautiful scalloped edge the next thing you need to do is to make sure you use sharp pins and you pin within the seam allowance of the lace because you don't want to damage the lace whatsoever now as you can see my seam um, my sewing pattern is ending across this motif here and here and here so what I want to do is to include these motifs in my design of my garment so when I'm ready to cut I'm actually going to start cutting from here around my motifs like so so that I get a nice kind of blending within the seams of the actual garment. When you are happy with the positioning of all your pattern pieces on your fabric the next thing is to do as I've said is to cut out and I'll demonstrate that in another video. I hope you found this video tutorial of help. Do remember that when you're working with lace fabric it's all about the design within your lace and that is what you have to work with. So you may find that you find find that you are changing some of your pattern pieces just slightly but it's all about making sure that you incorporate those beautiful details that you find in lace. If you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.